Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I have a page and the page has the following video, me saying a sentence. Hi there, I love writing end-to-end -end tests. One of the things I want to do today is I want to show how Chrome can do a speech-to-text transcription. So let's take this page and after it loads, let's set up the speech recognition. Right after the visit, we're gonna create the WebKit speech, speech recognition object, set it to continuous mode, so it transcribes the whole sentence, and then we have to set up a couple of callbacks. We'll start the recognition, and after we do start it, we can start the video. We'll start the video in a separate command by getting a video and calling the play. Now, this doesn't work correctly just yet. Hi there. I love writing end-to-end -end tests. And it doesn't work because we have to start a video when the recognition executes the callback. So we need to keep track of recognition start and end. So we'll need to create a separate object just to keep track of those. So we'll have an object with started and finished. When we say start, we can say state started true. On arrow, we'll say state finished equals true. On end, we'll say end finished true. And when we do the result, we're not going to do anything just yet. So when can we start? We can start when the state object has a property started equal to true, which is this command. Wrap the state should have property started true. Hi there, I love writing end-to-end -end tests. Okay, notice that our video starts playing only after we start the voice recognition. We have to wait for the state to have property finished true before we can wait for results, which we can do like this. Hi there, I love writing end-to-end -end tests. And notice I use timeout of 30 seconds because it might take a while to finish recognition. So eventually it did finish. Now we have to talk about the results. So the results are getting, you know, multiple times in a callback on result. We have to store them somewhere. We can even store them in the same state object, right? And what we have to do here, after recognition stops, we have to wait for results to say is finite. Uh, it will be one of the properties in the event result object. So we'll wrap the state again, we'll give it another timeout for recognition to finish, and we use the callback to make sure that results is final is uh, to true. Hi there, I love writing end-to-end -end tests. Okay, so notice that it was waiting for transcript to come through. We can see the transcript right here in the result object. Hi there, I love writing end-to-end -end tests. Well, the transcription is not accurate. Sometimes it will confuse and and first and you know uh, first for example. So we want to print the transcript at the end since we already wrapped the state object. All we have to do is get its property and log it into the uh, dev tools into the Cypress console log, which we can do. Hi there. I love writing end-to-end -end tests. Perfect. Instead of hi there, it says right here, I love writing and to end test. So it's still, it's a little bit imperfect.